Hi, this is Mr. West, Rossex Mills Starge. As it says there, West Starge presents a review of the Year 9 Crime and Punishment exam. So work your way through the exam, improving it as you go. Any targets that you've got on the paper will correspond to the questions as they come up with the colours matching. Let's go. Okay, so for this one, I've pretty much just put the marks on, okay? Um, but what I will say um, is that the top line here is often a way of getting the top mark. So if you think about, um, yeah, how they've started this year, so focus on deterrent and usually public, whereas punishments are more concerned about rehabilitation, often carried out in private. That's a nice answer, isn't it? It was often physical, uh, whereas now uh, it's rarely physical. So people have picked out the, um, the nature of uh, a general theme and then gone into the specifics. Where people didn't get four marks, they need to be quite specific about punishments and not pick out a general theme, public, private, physical or not physical. And that's the kind of advice I give. These are from the mark scheme, so have a look at them and then uh, get your uh, answer improved. Okay, so the blue target for the explain why question is about dates into your answers. So I've just put a few down here uh, that you may want to include. All right, It's always good to get your dates in, especially when there's a question of a time period like that. It's nice to show that you've got an understanding of the whole time period. And a good way of doing that is to lock in a series of dates that fill the time period, Okay, which is what I've done there. So have a look through your answer, add the dates in where you haven't used them. Okay, so the red target for the explain why question is about the role of William, okay? Write a paragraph on the importance of William to the new definitions of crimes against authority, okay? So I put something like a, a sentence start you could use here, is that the definition of crimes against authority changed when William became king of England in 1066. And then you write down how William changed it. And I've given you a couple of bullet points there that you can think about with that. Now, some of you wrote the bullet point information in the middle, but you didn't link it to the question or tie it back to the question at the end of the paragraph so you might have got read because you just didn't write a paragraph about William or you might have got read because you wrote about him but you didn't actually link it to the question that's what the green bits do on this slide they link it back to the question okay William defined these new crimes against authority to reinforce his position and cement his legitimacy look at that for a phrase cement his legitimacy as ruler of England so pause it have a look improve your paragraph or write one if you haven't done one Okay, so the green target for the explain why question is about the Reformation, all right? And what I found is that people started to write quite a bit about religion, but they didn't necessarily write about it in the form of the Reformation, okay? Um, so again, I've got my sentence starting green at the top here, okay? The definitions of crimes against authority changed the Reformation, but it became a bigger issue. And again, I've got my date in there for a previous target in 1534 because... And then I've mentioned about Henry, and I've mentioned about his son and daughter, okay? And then I've linked it back to the question here. So again, you've got this target, either because you didn't write about the Reformation at all, and in that sense, it's easy to write a full paragraph, or if you did, you maybe didn't tie it to the question in the way that you would uh, like. So again, uh, have a look at the, the um, green bits either side uh, of the bullet points uh, for that. Okay, pause it, and get it sorted. And then actually, just looking back at the um, previous two paragraphs, the orange target up here is about linking the start of the paragraph to the question, okay? So you can see how my paragraph starts here. I've focused closely on the question. Now, let's be honest with you, this is not an easy question, okay? It's very clumsily written. So what you need to think about is, right, how can I uh, link the paragraphs in? So if you've got orange, you don't need to rewrite any paragraphs. You've covered the key content, but you just need, need to redo the starts of them to link it to the question. Pause the tape and get it done. Okay, so now we're looking at Pensonville as a turning point in the use of prison. So this is the essay question. Do you agree with that? Okay, and the red target is to write a paragraph explaining why Pensonville was a turning point in the use of prisons. Okay, now what I would say to you here is that you've either got this type because you didn't write about Pensonville at all, or you wrote about it a bit, but you didn't write a proper paragraph, which was linked to the question at the beginning and at the end. And those bits in green is where I've done that. Yeah, so why was it a turning point? Because I've given you three reasons there uh, why that would be the case. And then I've linked it back to the question at the end. So basically, you need to have a, write your red paragraph or have a look. If you've written about it, it might just be easy if you've written a bit about it just to rewrite the paragraph uh, and focus it at the start and end uh, with the information that's there to bring it in line with the question. 
Okay, so again with the essay question, the blue tag is about the Jails Act, okay, uh, and whether that was a turning point, all right? So what I've done is I've put the Jails Act at the top, it was a turning point in the use of prisons because, and again, it's that sentence starter, isn't it? That's really important. Then I've given you three examples here uh, that link with it, and then... Uh, I've put why that that makes it a turning point, okay? So think about it. What do we have today? All right. Well, it's the first reform, isn't it? So it's the first attempt to change the prison system. And that's always a really important turning point, isn't it, really? And a lot of the things on that list we still have today, all right? So again, have a look at it. Get it written. Okay, so the green target then for the essay question about prisons is to do with um, open prisons and the more modern things, okay? So... Again, I've got the date in, haven't I? I know the date, and these are key things. Open prisons were first used in 1933, and perhaps should we say were a turning point in the use of prisons because. Prisons uh, were more relaxed and allowed to leave the grounds, and the idea was to prepare prisons for ordinary life back in the community. Okay, and that's a real change, isn't it? It's a fundamental change in how prisons are run. But what I would say is this last point here perhaps links to the question here that the reoffending rates continue to rise, perhaps suggests that it maybe wasn't the kind of turning point that maybe the government hoped it would be when it was introduced. So that's something to think about, isn't it? When the government hoped it would be a turning point, the reality suggests that perhaps it's not. So give it a pause and get that paragraph written up. And again, similarly to the last question, a lot of people wrote a lot of the correct information, but weren't able to tie the paragraphs to the question well enough to access the higher levels. So what I've done here is I've just put the two second stars, one about the Jails Act and one about Pentonville Prison, okay? And how they're seen as turning points, all right? So try and have a look at the paragraphs that you've done. If you've written more than one paragraph about Pentonville, you could say another reason Pentonville was a turning point in the use of prisons was putting the sentence starters uh, at the beginning of your paragraph to directly link it to the question is really important. So have a look at that and lock it in. And finally, uh, the final target is the pink one on uh, the essay. Now, unfortunately, due to formatting, I seem to have got rather a brown there rather than pink. But just imagine it's a lovely bright pink colour um, and you'll be laughing. Uh, a conclusion. Why you think it was the most important turning point and why? So obviously, you'd start with something like the most important turning point in the use of prisons was whatever you've said because and then you put this is more important than other reasons i've mentioned enough then it's this bottom bit that people forget to do okay so they say what's most important uh, but it's the bottom bit so if you've got pink you've either not done a conclusion or maybe you've not done both of the aspects on the page there so get cracking and get that sorted if you're unsure of anything give me a shout but then the idea is you can come and bring your answers over and show the improvement that's clear thank you